We found a way to be useful to Link, and the other champions, of course. Our job will be to help Link as he fights Ganon inside the castle, however we can. Using your ability to drain Ganon of his power is key to our success. This is it. This will be our last chance, and everyone's last hope. If we seal him away, then we can restore peace to Hyrule. And both your duty and mine will be fulfilled. Father, are you well, I wonder? I want you to know I have always followed my heart. I'm sorry I made you worry. I wish I could see you again. Even just once more. To you, all of the divine beasts have returned to us, and the spirits of the champions are free. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. Oh, nice, but don't... don't I already have one of those? Is this one better? Oh, this one's much better! Uh, actually, but there's not a bad thing to have two of them, so let's get rid of this forked boomerang. Oh, nice! Tunic of the Wind, so that gives us two parts of the Wind set. Just need the, the cap now. And we got our trousers, so that puts us at two parts of the Tunic of Twilight, so now we just need a cap for that also. Hey guys, it's Mikleo, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Mode. In the last episode, we finally calmed the last of the Divine Beasts, Varuta. And in this episode, we're gonna do what we always do after completing a Divine Beast, which is help the people of the region with the rest of their problems. Let's start with this guy. What's up, Leto? Yes, and now that that's quelled. Materials? What, what would you need? Luminous stones. I sure have. I, I think I should have ten of them. I don't see why I wouldn't, other than, I guess, upgrading the the glow-in-the-dark um, armor. But I should have... I only have eight. Okay, so let's, let's go, go out of our way immediately for that. Um, should be... Should be in the last one, I think. Yes, treasure. A luminous stone deposit. What kind of a picture is that? Yeah, and we're we're already like very near some of them. There are a lot in the Zora region. <laughs> All of my amiibo chests. Also, I can't. There's a chest down there. It doesn't let me summon Wolf Link here, but I'm excited to summon him because I finally got around to playing some Twilight Princess HD and doing that bonus dungeon, so our Wolf Link should have a good amount of hearts now, and I'm very excited for that. 
But we're gonna have to wait until we're venturing out of Zora's domain for that. But for now, let's get some luminous stones. That should be enough, but while we're up here, may as well get everything that's up here. Alright, that'll be more than enough. Let's head on back down. Alright, I arrive with your luminous stones, good sir. Here are your stones. Yeah, sure am. Please don't do this to me. I really love these grunts that he's doing every time. Oh! Yes, yes, I did bring all ten. With a diamond! Very not Two diamonds! Very nice! Thank you! That's still... That's still a good deal, my guy. Alright, let's look around for more quests, because I know there's a couple. Uh, nothing in here. I guess I should turn my Sheikah sensor back to shrines, huh? <laughs> Maybe that. That'll be good. Uh, nothing on the, this floor, it looks like. I know there's one about someone who's gone missing. And I know there's one about a young Zora who's been sending love letters, which is honestly a very weird quest that I'm not sure how I feel about. Uh, but more on that once we do it. I'm just not finding anything. Oh, and since the this area is done, we can also go and find the priest-like person for for Bolson. Yo, what's up, Groove? Hi. Oh, you're you you finally found your way down, then, huh? Good for you, man. I'm happy for you. Very nice. Proud of you, my guy. Deeply moved. <laughs> Is that so? Mm hmm. Alright. I can do that. Off I go. How do you like that dive? Radiant Beauty? <laughs> Alright, I'll be just back up in a second. <laughs> Fantastic! Can you feel that? My soul is on fire. It's pulsating with beauty. You showed me something truly special. Thank you so much. Alright, uh, what's my reward gonna be for that, Groove? I'm glad you liked it. Fleet Lotus Seeds, huh? Can use that for cooking. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Now, actually, I'm gonna... The, the Zora's Domain doesn't have a clothing shop, yeah? Because I'm, I'm trying to remember how I get the other two pieces of the Zora armor. I think you get them both from quests. But I forget which quests. Neither of them have as spectacular abilities as the, the breastplate, but they're still useful to have. And hello, Laflat. Oh, the Divine Beast is already over and done with. What's up? Uh... Yes. The, the line... Ooh, Red Maned. So this might be a chance to get a picture of the... The, uh... The lowest rank Lionel then, huh? 
Well, I don't think you're going to find any red-maned Lionels anywhere else, so I guess we are going to head up to deal with the red-maned Lionel, huh? Yeah, sure, understood. There's this fool in the domain who goads people into jumping off Shatterback Point on Ploymus Mountain. Oh, yeah? Oh, I get ya. You don't want people to risk your lives, so you're gonna scare them away. Yeah, I guess that might work. <laughs> Alright, I'll do just that. And I guess, beforehand, I should really clean out my, my picture album, so uh, I'll do that right now. <laughs> However, before we go up there, I'm going to explore around and pick up anything else we might find. Uh, and I believe this this is should be a quest here. Mm hmm? What's wrong? Ah, yeah, I, I mentioned this on the way here, that th this guy gives you a quest to find all these stone monuments. <laughs> Sounds rough. Yo! Sure is. I'm sorry. Look, I, I don't quite remember what happened, but I do aim to, to set everything right again. I'm sorry. Oh, this one's kinda... The History of the Zora, Part 7, The Hero Who Defeated the Lionel, is told by King Dorifon. There was a time when the people of the land were threatened by... the... Beast Lionel, who lived on Ploymus Mountain. But one Hylian drove the beast back and rec restored peace to the domain. The Zora Helm won in this fight is now north of... in the ruins near the lake. Time sure has taken its toll on this. We really? I I, th I thought I remembered this guy like calling out to you and like, or maybe we need the Zora helm. So let let's try and work that out again. In the ruins, north north in the ruins near Blank Lake. Well, this should be as good a place as any to start. It's it's a lake. It looks like it has ruins. So we'll, we'll head there and then come back to him and, and see what he has to say then. For now, let's just walk around and look for people with exclamation marks on their head. But first, I believe this is... Yes, Capson! He should be the person that we can we can send to Terrytown. Yes, I am Link. I'm sorry, Captain. Yes, I, I have been made quite aware of that. That's quite insightful of you. I see. Uh, well, yeah, get a load of this. In, in Terrytown, there's a couple there. Uh, in Terrytown's in Akala, by the way. There's a couple there that are about to get married, and they're looking for someone just like you. 
and you have the la- you have the 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 suffix son in your name so you're uh, you're quite the perfect fit by yourself well I'll see you there uh, later then all right Safe journeys, my guy. <laughs> so many... So many people are just pining after... Um... Prince Sidon, huh? Silver shield. All right. Well, let let's go back and talk to King Dorafon. So maybe, maybe that'll start to activate some stuff. There's the Zora statue right there. <laughs> Link, you did well to survive your trial. I have been awaiting your return. The violent downpour has disappeared, as has the threat to Zora's domain. It is all little more than a bad dream now. Thanks to your efforts, there is no longer any danger of a great flood laying waste to Hyrule. You appeased the divine beast, Varuta, and thusly saved Zora's domain. We are all truly grateful. What you did for us is more than we could have ever expected of you. Link, I must serious. Oh, that's Muzu. Link, I must sincerely apologize for my harsh treatment of you. That whole time, you were thinking of Hyrule's and Lady Mifa's well-being, just like the rest of us. All of the members of our council humbly fold our fins back in gratitude, along with the rest of our people. Perhaps the older generation of Zora, myself included, misunderstood Hylians. After all, it would seem so. That said, I would be overjoyed if you could find it in your heart to forgive me. If not now, then perhaps one day. Link, I must reward your efforts. Now then, I implore you to collect the treasure inside that chest over there. It was cherished by Mipha, a memento of sorts. I would like you to have it as a token of our friendship. Please take good care of it. Mm. Oh, but I see you already awakened the sword that seals the darkness. Perhaps you do not have need of this after all. What you have there is a legendary blade that only you can wield. You must take great care of it. Link, all of the Zora, thank you from the depths of our hearts for your heroic and selfless work. And you too, Sidon. As your father, I am proud of you for fighting the Divine Beast alongside Link. You have grown much recently. I know you will be a worthy heir when your time comes. Father... I thank you. The heavy rains have stopped, and the Divine Beast is our ally once again. How glorious! Truly splendid! <laughs> Link, this is wonderful! Link, thank you so much. Truly, I could never thank you enough. You helped save our home from vanishing away. This calls for a top-tier expression of gratitude. <laughs> zo! Zo! Ra, ra, ra! With all my heart? Thank you. <laughs> what a doofus. I love him so much. <laughs> Thank you, Sidon. I'm glad to help. Alright, now I believe that there are two things inside this chest. Yes, there's the light scale trident. Um, which we'll have to get rid of something for. Let's get rid of the wind cleaver, since we can't, like... That was an interesting throwing arc. Since we can't, like, spin attack with it. Yes, now we have the light scale trident. However, I believe there should be... Mm. Mm. 
Y yes, I, I meant Neath of Spirit. I'm, I'm sorry. She gave me her power. Yeah, it's, it's a great tragedy, and I apologize for that. Yes, she, she's doing great by Hyrule. You should definitely, you should be proud of her. So I've heard. We're we're united now. I'm glad to hear it. Okay, now that that is done, we should have quests more available now. This old guy should be more willing to talk to us, I think. Yes! Yes, he, he has a quest for us now. He's gonna, he's gonna ask us to study all of those monuments. Mm-hmm. I bet. Alright. Now, full disclosure, I'm going to have a guide open for this one, because how this works is that he'll tell you the general locations of a random one when you ask him, and then you want to go to that area and find it. Um, however... Rather than spend all that time looking for it, I'm just going to have a guide open so I can jump right to each ah. one. <laughs> and we've found two of them, but I don't know... Yeah, I, I think they can. Oh, there are seven remaining. So this one... Plus the two we found along the way, I think. It might be three we read along the way. I'm not quite sure. Uh, hello, Torf... Torfu? Tor... Torfu? Exterminate the Henox by Rallis Pond. Yeah, I can sure... Certainly do that. Okay, yeah, I'll, may as well, uh, I think I'll focus on the line -up. oh, that just leads me back to her then? Then yeah, I'll, I'll do that one first. Um, there are two more quests that I know to look for. And I believe this is one of them. Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, what? I think this is a, a shrine quest, so this wasn't one of the two I was thinking of. Tell me that song. Mm hmm. Yeah, I want to hear it. A gift from the sky, a scale of light. Splits the feet of a veiled fall sight. Your trial awaits its glowing bright. Okay. Uh, so that does lead me in the right direction. I believe the light scale trident is what we need for this. Uh, are you... Back at ya. No, you're not. You're not someone I'm looking for. Uh, so, I know there there is a young Zora, as I mentioned, who's, like, sending love letters and stuff. Um, and then there's also someone looking for... 
a, a missing Zora, and she she's a, a ways away. Uh, I guess if I'm not going to stumble upon these now, then I might just find them later. So, I'm not going to continue searching for them for now while I still have other stuff to do. Is this a Sora? Oh, that's Muzu. Hey, Muzu. Okay, so... Hey, Shrella. The ceremonial trident. I see. Oh. Okay, so that that's what I was thinking about. Um, the ceremonial trident is functionally identical to the the light scale trident, so I'm not, but I'm not just going to get rid of the light scale trident in favor of it, but we do want the, the ceremonial trident for the, the shine quest. Did he say he dropped it in the, okay, no, the veiled falls is where we got to go, but we need the light scale trident or the, the ceremonial trident for it. The light scale trident won't work, so let's... First use Magnesis. There it is. Okay, so we're going to want to get closer to it. I don't know if this will be close enough. I hope so. Um, I wonder if I can get it on camera here. Oh my god! Oh, that reminds me. I didn't get the... The light scale trident, did I? There we go. <laughs> All right, so let's just get a little bit closer. We should be like right above it now. Perfect. And let's bring it back up. That's not where I wanted to drop it. That's just unfortunate. Come on, just balance enough for me. Perfect. Oh, I, I thought they were functionally identical, but I guess the ceremonial trident is weaker. I did not know that. Alright, well, now we're going to want to bring the, the ceremonial trident up to Veiled Falls. And we'll use it in the... The vague ceremony that the song described. Also, I may have made a mistake in climbing like this, but that's okay. Because we can just get... This angle should be fine. Yeah, now we can recover stamina by, like, running up 90 degree walls. <laughs> because that's how this... That's how physics work, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Alright, that should be enough to get us to the top. <laughs> Alright, so... Now, I believe what it wants us to do... Do I have pictures of ducks? I do, okay, I had to be sure. I believe what it wants us to do... Is... Yeah, okay, so we want to swim up this waterfall. Hey, guys. And then we want to fall back down and sort of plunge attack this. And perfect. And this should sh summon a shrine for us.
All right. Now, I imagine this one is just going to be a blessing, but again, I can I can never be sure about these sort of things. It's always just a surprise. Okay, yeah, it is a blessing. And what chest does this blessing offer us? Or what does this blessing chest offer us? Uh, a silver rupee, okay. Uh, <laughs> don't mind me just getting intimate with that lamp. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's, don't, don't worry. Just give me my spirit orb and let me go on my way. No? Oh? Zelda? Link. Zelda? I have witnessed your journey. You have overcome every challenge laid before you. Ruta. Rudania. Meadow. Naboris. All of the divine beasts are now free. With the strength you have attained, I am certain you can unlock the powerful force hidden within. Go to the Shrine of Resurrection, and return the Sheikah Slate to its terminal. Okay! I was wondering when that was going to appear. So the Champion's Ballad is now available. Uh, and that's counted as a main quest. However, I will... I will do that after doing the last trial of the sword, which will be soon. Uh, I will do the last trial of the sword after finishing up here in Zora's domain. Uh, and then after that, I guess we'll be doing the champion's ballad. <laughs> but for now, that's a ways off. Uh, so let's let's go fight the 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 Lionel of Rallis Pond since that's. That's pretty nearby to us, I think. And I, I, I don't think... You know what? Let's use the ceremonial trident for this. Uh, I don't think we'll be needing it for anything more. It's pretty weak. Uh, the light scale trident is more meaningful anyway. And I believe the... The ceremonial trident can be re repaired, or like you can get it again for like ten luminous stones or something like that. Uh, but the the light scale trident specifically, you need a um, you need a diamond for. And I would rather sell the diamonds uh, if I'm being real, because those are some good cash. All right, now let's just get. Very up close and personal. And charge as much as we can. Think that'll be good. And how much damage did that do? <laughs> Come on, let's charge up once more! Before the music even starts. Okay. Well, now the, the giant of Rallis Pond is over and done with, and I think that's all we can do here. Do I want to replace the... Yeah, let's replace the ceremonial trident with, with a broadsword. Because broadswords are my, like, preferred weapons. I'm just a one-handed kind of guy, and I really like swords, as I've made very clear already, I believe. Okay, so let's let's head on back, and then head into the other direction to the Lionel to take a picture of that, and may as well kill it while we're in the area. Also, I don't believe I ever explained Mipha's Grace, uh, now that we have it. Uh, unlike all the other abilities, which have three charges, Mipha's Grace only has one, and it re- <laughs> Thanks, Rivali. And it recharges every 30 minutes rather than every 10. At least I believe the other three respond, re recharge every 10. Um, because... It doesn't tell you. 
uh, because it is especially powerful. It's basically, anytime you die, you get revived with full HP, plus like five more hearts. Like, it, that's extremely powerful, especially since you can go like 30 minutes without even getting into a dangerous fight. So, like, honestly, I'll just use it the same way I use Daruk's protection, and just, I'll jump off of cliffs and not even pull out my my paraglider, and just let, let Mifo or Daruk handle it. And I'm sure they're very angry at me using their abilities that way, but it's how I use them. Yes, I did defeat the Enox by Rallis Pond. Mm-hmm. Please take a hundred rupees. Thank you very much. Well, just keep training. You'll get there. I don't doubt it. Okay, so next up would be... Ba -da -ba -da -ba, the Lionel Safari, which... I mean... Is, well, okay, let's see. We'll stop by... We'll stop by Toto Lake... That's what it's called, right? The the pin is covering the the last letter. And then we'll head to Ploymus to go and take a picture of that Enox. Does that sound good? <laughs> Sounds good to me, I think. What a useless use of Rivali scale. Um <laughs> That's fine. Let's just glide to these waterfalls and that'll put us where we need to be. <laughs> and we'll just get our Zora helmet and then we'll be two thirds of the way to getting the full set. I don't remember where you get the pants. But I hope we can get the pants soon. Though, I am going to have to upgrade this gear if I want to use it at all, so we'll we'll have to stop by a ferry uh, the next time we warp, too. But I'll wait until I get the full set before I do that. Okay, so... The Zora Helm should be somewhere here. If I'm not mistaken, so let's just... Let's just throw our Magnesis everywhere, and see if we can't find it. I think a higher vantage point will be the best place to be, so let's, let's drop up here. Oh! That's gotta be it! Okay, just drop it up here, and get our... Zora Helm! Which also improves our swim speed, so let's keep it equipped for now. It's gonna lower our defense a, a bunch, but that's fine. Okay, and now let's head... Let's head east to Ploymus Mountain up there. And... Get a picture of the red-maned Lionel, and then defeat it, because it's... It's going down. We've we've beaten harder Lionels than it. Red Main is nothing. Hey, buddy. Oh no. He's just ignoring me. <laughs> All right, I guess. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder if. Because the first time you see this Lionel, it's supposed to be your first encounter of a Lionel. And it's before the Divine Beast occurs, so like, a little cutscene plays. So I wonder if that cutscene's gonna play now, too. Also, because we have Mipha's Grace, I can now play a little more recklessly, and only, like, really worry about my defense if it's not activated. Once it is activated, I will just switch to my best defense, but right now, I don't think we got it. 
All right, before we approach, let's try and get that picture. Does that really count as a picture? All right. Okay, it's looking like the cutscene isn't playing. Let's use our fierce deity sword. Gonna wanna sneak up on it, though. Uh, what's my arrow button again? That is. Wanna get a headshot on it. Perfect! And now, we just spin to win with our fierce deity sword. <laughs> Oh man! Once again, before the music even starts, I almost feel bad. Almost. Now, as this is a red maned Lionel, will it have. No, it won't have lesser equipment. Okay. Now, what did she say people tried to. Uh, what tried to get people to do was to, like, jump off that rock up there? Because if so, I think. I think I want to do that. Just to see what it's like, you know. Also, now that the Lionel's gone, she doesn't really have any reason to scare people away from up here. Because the Lionel is gone. But, you know. It's fine. <laughs> and let's pick up some sh shock arrows along the way. Also, what's this? Jump at your own risk. I will do just that! Geronimo! Okay, <laughs> let's head back to Zora's domain and turn in that picture, shall we? Oh, there's a, there's a Korok seed. Actually, speaking of Korok seeds, I'm pretty sure there's one on top of that, like, big fish of Zora's domain. So I should grab that, too. Alright, well, this one's pretty simple. Just gonna pull this block out of here and insert it into the center here. Yeah! Yeah -ha -ha! Bye bye. <laughs> We're out of Ravali's Gale already, huh? I didn't even notice I used all three. Regardless, also I should keep an eye out for the. The two quests that I'm thinking about that I seem to have missed. But first and foremost, let's let's climb let's climb the fish and get Well, let's take a rest here since we're out of stamina. And let's get the Korok seed that I seem to remember being up here. Oh, there's also a chest. Uh, didn't remember that. It's probably just, yeah, a, a spear I don't need. Okay. Um. Now, is it at the very top? I'm gonna want to... Yeah, we're gonna want to climb this way. I think it'll be easier on our stamina, and there'll be plenty of ways for us to, like, stop and replenish the stamina. If it's not up here, we can at least get to it from up here. I just remember... Maybe I should be using the climbing... the climbing gear, huh? There. That'll make this so much more efficient. Yeah, here it is. And there might be something in here as well. Yep, yeah, there's another one here. Okay. All right, let's let's go show the the woman her picture. Here we go. I have your picture. It's fine, don't worry about it. 
I wouldn't be so certain. That's how we get the pants. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh no. Well, I'm happy to put them to good use. Uh, those aren't the Zora pants. There we go. And now we have the full set. However, it's unupgraded, so we don't get the bonus from it quite yet. So I'll do that. I'll, I'll actually I'll go and do that right now and upgrade anything else I might be able to upgrade. And then update my, my material list. That of things I need to like potentially need to fully upgrade everything, even though I won't fully upgrade everything, there's not really a reason to. Um, and then we'll go and do the remaining Zora missions. Okay, well, here's a list of everything I upgraded and to what level. And if I wanted to hypothetically upgrade everything that I own to the next level, here's everything that I will need. Oh? Hello? This is a quest I didn't quite remember. I'm a Hylian. Oh, yeah, I remember this kid now. Uh, I forget what he asks for. I did not see... Uh, oh, I, I hope so. F frogging? Hot-footed frogs, huh? Uh, I shouldn't have five. Here, have some frogs. H here you go. One, two... Oh, I only have two? Uh, that is not the button I wanted to press. Uh, I'm also not looking for luminous ore deposits, so... Uh, they would be over in creatures. Small creature. Not that I'll be e able to easily spot them with... There we go. Well, I'll, I'll target these along the way until I find three of them. And then I'll go back up and deliver, I, I suppose. Uh, I guess it's above me, huh? Okay, should be able to get some frogs here, even if it's not quite a rainy day. So let's try and sneak up on him. I guess I can't sneak in water, so let's just walk. That's one of them! Get back here, you frog! Oh, they've all disappeared. Oh, hey, it's a, a Korok path. That's cool. Let's, may as well get this. It appeared to the left. Bless directional sound. It's probably just going to keep leading us up this. No? Oh, yeah, I heard it to the right. Oh, I remember this one. It sends us under. So let's let's equip our climbing gear for this. That'll that'll help a lot, I think. Honestly, this one makes us almost like climb on a ceiling. I remember this one. At least I think I do. I might be misremembering. Actually, no, this one appeared above us. So I think we're back on land now. And then here we go. Yaha, you found me. Bye bye. 
Alright, well, now that that interruption is over, let's go find us some more frog. There's a bunch of frogs. MINE! Okay, let, let's... Let's head back to Zora's domain and give the kid his frogs. <laughs> hey, Dumbo! I got you your frogs. I sure did. An amaranth. Those... those are defense, I believe it said. So that's very nice. Marrow Mart! That reminds me of Mallow Mart. L Linny? Uh, oh, you're. I, I I think this actually leads into the 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 the, the, the young Zora getting a boyfriend quest. Uh, yep, there it is. The bank of wishes. Uh. No, that's not what. I, what's the the bank of wishes? I don't remember at all. The... Oh, there it is. The Bank of Wishes. Okay, so so no wonder I couldn't find, find Finley, because the quest starts, like, a while away. Okay. Good... good to know. There should still be one more quest, though. Where? Oh, here he is. Yo, what's up? What's up, Frank? What's wrong? Hmm. Uh, I'll, I'll find her, man. Don't worry. Yeah, I promise. Okay, well, well... So, this is an interesting one, and one that a lot of people, myself included, had a lot of trouble with the first time. Uh, if you talk to him again, he says something about how maybe she sort of washed a down Zora River. So your your first instinct will be to check along this stretch. She watch washes really far down Zora River. And by that I mean she's at Lake Hylia. Um so we will stop by there. Uh, I lost myself. Um, after stopping by the Bank of Wishes to talk to... to Finley. Uh, and rather than just walking to the Bank of Wishes, I'm going to meet you there. Oh, by the way, the the Zora the Zora like set upgrade is similar to the climbing one in that it makes it so swim dash takes much less stamina. And I mean much less stamina. 
Uh, like, uh, I'll show you in just a second. Also, there's Finley. Like, no stamina at all, much less stamina. Also, we can spin attack. Which takes about the same stamina. So, like, it's... It's incredibly useful. Also, hello, Finley. Carry your thoughts to him. No, I'm... I'm looking for you. Uh... Oh, that's right. What... what is that? Okay. Uh, I'll... I'll do that. No? Alright. I'm ready. It breaks easily, so she just yeets it into the water. Okay. Well, time to follow her container, I suppose. And we're also going to have to sort of escort it along the way, too, because... Well, it can't quite get past this, so let's burn it. Maybe that didn't work. Okay, let's blow it up. There. Uh, let's de-equip the bomb arrow, because I'm actually not certain that it won't just blow up in my hands. And we also have Lizalfos to deal with. Courtesy of Master Mode putting these things everywhere. Ow. You should be able to... Oh, jeez. You should be able to archery out of the water. But I guess not. Good night. All right, let's let's land back down and see where this ends up. I don't expect, or I don't know how she didn't expect it to break just like along the way, but oh well. Oh great, more Lizalfos. I can't really do much about it considering the rain because I can't just climb up. So. Oh, here's a here's a place we can stand. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Good for Rivali's Gale. Uh, I, I don't think this goes on for much longer. At least I hope not. Because this isn't a terribly exciting quest. So I, I guess I guess while we're waiting, I'll talk about my my problem with this quest. Um, in that it follows a rather not great anime trope, which is... Okay, so the Zora age much slower, right? So that that kid... That kid's probably like 18 or 20 or around there. Um, and, and that's something that happens in anime a lot, which is... The... The older character that looks but... Like, a character that's older, like an adult or something, sometimes even thousands of years old, that still looks and acts like a child. Um, and, like, I, normally I would just ignore it in this case, because they age slower. It would follow that they mature slower. But her love interest is a grown... 
Hylian man, so like, it just, it just doesn't sit properly. It, it, it feels like a 20-something-year-old man dating like an 8-year-old, and it's just not right. So... I, I'm not a fan of this particular quest, and I'm not going to shy away from admitting it. And, like, that, this whole general trope is just a problem. As I said, majorly in anime, Fire Emblem Awakening does it with Naoi, who's like a 2000 or something year old dragon that looks and acts like, like a 10 year old, and, it, and she can also become romantically involved with characters that are, are clearly grown adults, and it's just uncomfortable. Fates does it as well, but Fates is, isn't as uncomfortable to me with Nyx, because she's very clear about being an older woman, and she acts like it, so it's not like there's a huge maturity difference. So, like, that one isn't as uncomfortable to me. And, like, Symphonia sort of does it with Persea. But again, that one sort of works because it, in, in Persea's case, it's played for emotional effect rather than fetishistically. So I think that's an acceptable version of it. But most of the time, it's, it's played fetishistically, and it's just not good. And in this case, I don't think it's played for... A sexual intent per se but it they just and I don't think there's any like malicious intent behind Nintendo but they they clearly didn't think about the ex the implications here so as I've said many times already it's just uncomfortable Man, how long does this go? I, I've reiterated my point like 20,000 times already. I was expecting this to have reached its destination by now. How many more Lizalfos do I have to have to kill before this letter reaches its destination, am I right? So we can just collect our reward and then never think about this quest again um, I, I I do think it like for real it's nearing its end at the now I think it just needs to pass that stronghold that Lizelfo stronghold there and then and then it's done so soon. May as well get ahead of it and try and, like, destroy anything that might impede. Uh, so yeah, Cryon, this is probably the best rune to have equipped for this. Because I think that, that like, wooden barricade there will get in its way. So we're, we're going to want to destroy this. Like so. Make sure we get everything. Perfect. That should let it through. Uh, and where... Okay, good. It's still behind us. I want to be really cautious about breaking it, because if we break it, we have to do the whole song and dance again. And I would really rather not do that. Okay, just want to keep keep an eye on it. Okay, it's there. It's making it. I think that beach just past this is where it needs to go. Yeah, I guess to just close off my point, there's there's like a lot of weird 
tropes like regarding just sexualization or, or like compromising scenarios for kids in general in a lot of media and so many people defend it it's just like oh it's just cultural differences or other stuff that's just blatantly false like that and it's just not great and it, it, it does need to stop And I don't know why that's such a controversial opinion. And I, I guess that's kind of a tangent there, because, as I said, that's not exactly the case for this quest. It's just, I think in this case, it's just a poor thought-out quest regarding how two species age in this universe. But it, it, it's a similar conversation, I think, that just needs to be discussed and not, like, hand-waved. So. And I don't normally like to talk about this sort of thing in videos, because I want my place to be, my videos to be sort of, like, just a carefree area where, like, just come to watch me, a giant dumbass, play games. But when serious conversations do turn up, I don't want to just hand wave them. Because this sort of thing does make, does encourage a lot of bad behavior and justifies a lot of bad behavior and I want people to feel safe and know where I stand on this sort of thing. And where I stand is... It's not good! And if you justify it, I... sort of question your motivations. Anyway, we have finally reached our destination. Uh, yes I have. Uh, it's not that far. Sasan, the traveling merchant, huh? Yes. Yes, I have. Mm hmm. Good luck with that. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Yeah, it it stops. I I don't think you're going to get beefy by running. <laughs> it's like in Tales from the Borderlands where like Vaughn turns out to be super buff and his excuses, there was an exercise bike in the office doesn't work like that. You don't get jacked from bikes. Like, your legs will get more muscly, of course. But, like, you're not gonna get killer abs and biceps from bikes. What do you mean? Yeah, sure. I'll see you there. Alright, well... I'll head back there momentarily. First, let's head down to Lake Hylia and find... Uh, what's his face is a missing wife. All right, there she is, just kind of chilling on these islands. So let's talk to her. And she seems fine, <laughs> singing a song. Uh, do you know Frank? Uh, he, he misses you. You've been gone for, for quite a while, and he's worried about you. Did you lose track of time? Got carried away? Alright. Ooh, Staminoka Bass. Alright, I'll see you there. 
All right. Well, the quest ends there. So let's let's head back to Zora's domain, and it's north of here, and turn in turn in the quest. Uh, and here they are. It's me. You did it. Oh boy. Uh, don't 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 you find this weird Sasan uh, no uh, it comes in all forms I guess I don't like this form though it does not sit right with me I'm just gonna leave it there, and we have two more quests we sh we need to do. One we we've turned in, or we just need to turn in, and then the Zora Stone monuments. As I said, I have a guide uh, pulled up, and I'm just gonna basically run to each of them and meet you there. Now the first one is right here about so see you there okay now we probably already read this one as it's alongside the past uh and because i'm probably already over the time i'm not going to be doing a dramatic reading of these ones like i did the first time and also the second one is back here And then the third one is another warp away. Anyway, this one is sort of just talking about the Zora and Hylian partnership. Uh, and then the third one is, is around here. So once again, see you in just a second. And here is number three. And this one's just talking about uh, the Zora King, or one of the previous Zora Kings, I believe. I'm just sort of skimming it while I'm going through it quickly. Uh, probably talk. Yeah, this one's talking about the tradition of Zora princesses creating armor for their husbands. And then the next one is just south of Lulu's Crossing, or Luto's Crossing. Uh, I, I guess I was thinking of Lulu from Majora's Mask, I believe that's her name is. And I can see this one down below. So, let's go and read this one. Ah, the light scale trident. Uh, I believe we already. This was one of the ones we've already read. How? Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's about Mifa and the light scale trident, and just like the. I didn't mean to read that again. Uh. The fifth one is on the other side of the the uh, the divine beast around here. And there it is down below. Mifa, take the wheel. Thank you, Mifa. 
All right, the history of the Zora, the Sage Princess Ruto, ah, from Ocarina of Time. The the Zora that became the Sage of Water and helped the Ocarina of Time link. I'm sure most of us know that story. If not, play Ocarina of Time. And then, let's see, the sixth one is, I believe, more north? Nope. Nope. It's more eastbound. Near the Rutala Dam. Here we are! This one's talking about the Divine Beast, huh? And how... Mifa took a shine to it. And then how... How they lost Mifa to it. And then the seventh one is probably also another one that we have already read, being around here. But just in case we have not... Gotta head to it and double check. The hero who defeated the Lionel. Oh, this one appears to be the same one that is in Zora's domain. Uh, I don't think we read this one here. Um, and then the next one is actually directly south of this. Also along the path. Right here about. So this one might be the one we read instead, actually. I'm almost certain of it now. I'm just ignore the moblin. Oh, hey, Korok. What's up, my guy? Here we are. The first addendum. King Dorafon stands his ground. Ah, oh, yeah, the one where King Dorafon uh, <laughs> lifted a guardian like into the ravine or, and earned a scar on his forehead. Okay, well, the next one is a little bit a ways off. It is right here next to Ploymus Mountain. I'm kind of sad I didn't grab that one while I was there. And here it is. Now what is this one about? Prince Sidon's Great Escape. A giant Octorok. Ah, a Prince, si Prince Sidon went to... <laughs> he, he escaped from inside the Octorok? What, like like in Hercules, where where he gets eaten by the, the Hydra and then cuts himself out of the neck? Except this would have actually killed the Octorok, whereas when Hercules cuts himself out of the neck, the... the the, the Hydra just grows more necks. Um, anyway, the tenth and final uh, monument is around here. And this one was... This one's a difficult one to find, because the... The direction the guy gives you is just southeast of Upland Sorana. This is just directly south, for, for starters. Anyway... Catch you there, and then I'll go to turn in the last two quests we need. And here we are. What is the tenth and final mem memoir of a gifted stonemason? So this is just the the personal like addition of the person who created the. Okay, so that's just this guy, like, talking about, Hey, I made these things, and it was a great honor. I'm gonna hide my own one up here. 
All right, well, now that we have all those, let's glide on back and tell the old man of our progress. Yo, I read all of them for you. Uh, well, th there was this and that, some stuff about Rudo and me from... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's all here. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm happy to help out. Okay, last quest to turn in for now. From the ground up at Hateno Village. I believe that is the last thing we have to... Uh, or, I guess this is headed to Terrytown, not... It's from Hateno Village, but it ends in Terrytown. So let's head to Terry. Anyway, yeah, let's head to Terrytown. I believe that's the last thing we needed to do. And let's turn that in. Hey, Hudson. I've got you your priest. What's up? Mm-hmm. It's true. You can't get more priest-like than an actual priest. Next is the wedding, yeah? Guests? Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, of course. Forgot about that. Uh, that won't take too long, though. though. These guys are just in Hateno, like, right in front of my house. So. That'll be done, like, super quick. Changed into the Royal Guard uniform, because I felt if I'm going to be attending a wedding, I wanted something a little more formal. Anyway. Hey, Bolson. Hudson's getting married. Yeah, you gonna come? Okie doo. I'm in wedding time, baby. Yeah, please. All right, you guys. I'll see you there. Carson, we're headed out. Finally! We've been waiting for this day! <laughs> See you guys there. Alright, Hudson. Are they here? Uh, yep, there they are! Of course, let's begin. <laughs> Ahem! Silence, please, everyone. We shall now begin. We are gathered here today to join Hudson and Ronson in matrimony. Hudson, before the eyes of these witnesses, and before those of Goddess Hylia, do you take Ronson to be your wife, and to have and hold in good times and bad? Excellent. And Ronson, before the eyes of these witnesses, and before those of Goddess Hylia, do you take Hudson as your lawfully wedded husband? In sickness and in health. And you also vow to name your children in accordance with the Bolson Construction Naming Guidelines? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I'm the only one here with I'm the only one here that isn't, like, eligible to work at, at, at Bolson. <laughs> X 
Excellent. <clears throat> and so, dearly beloved, please help me in greeting this newly married couple. Bolson, what the- <laughs> I wish this new couple nothing but the utmost happiness as they set out on this journey of martial bliss. I'm happy for them. This is a much, a much better pair than, uh, the one we saw earlier, wouldn't you agree? Like, I wouldn't entirely say Hudson is husband material, per se, but I'd rather, rather something a bit more unconventional than something illegal! <laughs> and hey. Maybe he's a lot better guy than I take him for. He's certainly a kind man. I'll give him that. Of course. Congratulations! Mm-hmm. No, no. I just helped out where I could. This is all you. Three diamonds? Hudson, you're too generous. I take it back. I take it back that you're not husband material. You're a wonderful man. I feel bad saying that about you at all. Thank you very much. Alright! Now that that is complete. This has been a long one. And we've got a lot done. I will end things off here. Thank you so much for watching. Rivali I hope you enjoyed. Rivali! Timing! I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time, in which we take on the last of the Master Trials. See you then.